alaikum and welcome to Titley's Busy Kitchen with me, Titley Nihan. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's quite disgusting, isn't it? But when it's sliced and fried, it's absolutely delicious. So here's my lovely large squid. It's got the head and tentacles at the front and the nice meaty body at the back. It's quite an interesting animal because actually if you look quite closely... Get it off! Get it off! Oh, sorry about that. Now let's cut up that squid. It seems to be quite dead. Now the next bit is really quite disgusting and if you don't want to watch it, look away now. We take the head and we literally pull it out of the body. Lovely. This bit we're going to throw away. Take a knife and cut off the tentacles just below the hard crunchy beak. Keep these because they're tasty. And this lot goes in the bin. You can look back now. Take the body cavity and give it a good wash inside. And you'll find that there's this hard bit which you just pull out. Feel down inside and you'll probably find an even bigger bit like this. That's what you're going to throw away. Stick your fingers down the bottom. Give it a good wash on the inside. Pull out any bits like this. When it's all nice and clean in the middle, we're going to pull off all this dark skin. It comes off very easily, just peels off. Once you're satisfied that you've got all the outer membrane off the squid, and you can actually just peel the wings off. Let's give them a tug and off they come. Now I'm going to wash this under the tap. If you feel any more bits of membrane, particularly around the tail area, just pull them off. Give the wings a good wash too. No sense in throwing these away. What you should end up with is a nice white or pink body, a couple of wings and a bunch of tentacles. I did say tentacles. Now we're going to take a knife and cut the body into quarter inch rings. Then take the wings and cut them into thin strips. Again about a quarter of an inch. Now take the whole lot and just drop it into a bowl of cold water. Now I need a coating for my calamari. So in this bowl I've got one cup of flour and into it I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a teaspoon of oregano and half a teaspoon of paprika and mix it all together with this little whisk. Okay, that's looking well mixed. I've drained my squid and the objective now is to get them covered in flour. So. I've got a large bowl with a colander. I'm going to drop my squid in, pour the flour on the top, give it a really good shake, get your hands in and just toss it around, pour the flour over again, give it another shake, then fry a batch of the rings at about 180 degrees C for only one minute. After one minute, remove from the oil and put onto some kitchen roll to drain. And drop in the next batch. Serve with wedges of lemon. Mmm, mmm. So there we are. Tonight I'm looking forward to some delicious color. Cal oh, 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 Hello, I think I'll call you Aileen. Join me next time in Tiddly's Busy Kitchen with me, Tiddly Han. Hello, Mummy. And my friend Aileen. Until next time, good harvest.